He's a hard man to find, but he isn't a hard man to draw. Today, we're creating Waldo from the Where's Waldo book series. So, as always, you're gonna need a pencil, paper, and black line marker. And then today for colors, we'll be using red, blue, and brown. All right, our class, let's get this Fan Friday going. Good morning and happy Fan Friday. Today, we're going to be drawing Waldo from the Where's Waldo book series. Waldo is going to be in the middle of our paper, and we're going to start his head towards the top, working our way down, creating his full body. In order to create Waldo's head today, we're going to start with a simple circle shape. This is going to make the upper part of his head, where we'll find his eyes and nose. After we have this circle, we're going to bring down two sides, slightly angled in. This is going to give us the size of Waldo's face and cheeks. And we're going to end it at the bottom with just a straight line across. So what we've done with the circle, two lines, and the bottom is kind of create the outline of Waldo's head. Now basically where the bottom of your circle is, we're just going to put a line across right there because that's going to be where Waldo's nose falls. Above that, we're going to create his glasses. And we're going to do that by creating two circles. And we want them to be big enough that they take up some good space, but there's some room in between that we can make a bridge across his nose. So there's some room in between that we can create a little bit of a bridge across his nose with the glasses. In the middle of the glasses, we're going to put a single dot to create our eyes. And when we ink our glass today, we're going to make sure that outline is nice and dark and thick so that they read as glasses. Now Waldo's a smiley guy, so we're going to create his smile. And it's going to be going from one side of his mouth, or one side of his uh, face to the other kind of stopping under each eyeball. Last but not least in face details, he's going to have a little line on his chin. All right, moving upward on Waldo's head. Well, first we're going to give him some ears. So on the side of our glasses, we're going to curve a line out and down to our nose. Just out and down to our nose on each side, giving us some cool glasses or some cool ears. <laughs> now we're going to make Waldo's hat and from his hat we're going to pull our hair out. Not literally, just the way we draw it. In order to create his hat, on the left side of his head we're going to make an angled line towards the top. It's just going to kind of sit right there on top of Waldo's head. From that angled line we're going to create an arch over top. This is going to make our hat shape. On top of that, I'm going to put a circle. But if you want to make it kind of like with wavy lines or zigzag lines, because this is kind of like a puffy ball, you can do that. And on this hat, we're going to create a line going across Now, like I said, we're going to pull his hair out from this. How do we do that? It's pretty easy. What we're going to do is, um, on the left side, we're going to come down from his hat, make a line, and we're going to pull a couple zigzag lines down on that side. On the other side of his head, we're going to pull a line straight out over past the ear even. And then we're going to do the same thing overlapping his forehead. We're going to pull a line straight out. We'll use zigzag lines to put those two lines together. And then we can erase over the overlapped forehead. And just create some straight lines across giving our hair some detail. 
Well, all those faces definitely coming all the way in. So next, it's time to add his body. First, we're going to create his neck. Coming in a little bit under his chin, so it shouldn't be as thick as his chin. We're going to make a small square shape. Once we have our square shape, we are going to now work on making Waldo's body. We're going to start by making the middle of his body, and then we'll add arms onto it, and then we'll make his legs. In order to make the middle of his body, we're going to be making pretty much a long oval shape. We're going to start under this neck square and kind of curve the top of it. And then we're just going to bring it down straight on both sides. And we're going to bring it down about mm, two head sizes. So if we think about making it about as big as two of Waldo's heads, that's about how long his body is going to be. And at the bottom, we're just going to curve to finish. Next, we'll add some arms to this body. One is going to be under and one is going to be over. First, we're going to do the underarm. The underarm is going to start at the top of his shoulder. It's going to be a line that just comes out to the side. Now, it's going to have a parallel line that starts a little lower, comes out to the side as well. And then, this gives us our underarm. I say under because it's kind of farther away, and it's kind of underlapped our body. Now I said once under, so the next going to be over. This arm is going to overlap our body. So we're going to go up to the top, we're going to come down again, and we're going to go down a little bit past our waist there, and then we're going to overlap a line, starting out here, we're going to overlap a line, and then following it parallel down. So as you can tell, this one overlaps the body. When we get to the bottom of this line, let's come across it too, same way. I'm also going to put a couple circles at the end of these so I can build hands off of them. Now while we're on the middle body of Waldo, I'm going to make some lines across. I'm going to start across the top shoulders here and give some space make some more stripes. You'll notice the stripes go all the way across, so even if the arm is not connected, I kind of keep it in the same area. All right, finishing up these uh, hands here, off my circle, I'm going to bring down one, two, three, oval shapes. That's going to give me fingers. And I'll use the back of the circle kind of as a palm. On this side, I'm going to bring down a thumb with an oval shape. And I'm going to bring down one finger. So it kind of gives you like a C shape or a Lego hand, sort of. And under that Lego hand, we're going to make a cane. So we're going to make a curved line that curves up the middle and kind of comes back down. This will be Waldo's cane. We're almost done. We just need some legs, right? So in order to make our legs, we're going to come down off the back of the body, enough to kind of make Waldo's hip, and then we're going to angle forward, because so Waldo's going to be walking. Same here, we're going to come down, but then parallel to that line, we're going to create another one, making one leg swing forward. When we walk, if one, per one leg is forward, the other one's usually a little back. So under, we're going to create another line, Going the other way, and a parallel line to that, having it go the back way.
now that I know where all those legs are, I'm going to go ahead and finish my cane. I kind of stopped because I didn't know if I was going to go under the legs or over, but we've got it there now. It's pretty awesome. So most of Waldo's work is already done. All we need now is just a nice line on his pants to create his pocket. And then we're ready to ink and color today. Here we go. All right, guys, we're all set. Now, the coolest thing about Waldo is that he always has awesome backgrounds, so I can't wait to see yours. But for me today, on this Fan Friday, I'm going to be signing my paper, because I am all set. All right, guys, we're all done with our lesson today, and we're done with Literary Week. I hope you guys have had fun drawing different characters from books, and I hope it inspires you to go out and read a couple yourselves. So, until next time, be kind and creative, and I'll see you Monday for more art class. Bye-bye.